Will White here with Nexus Pest Solutions with another edition of Questions We're Asked When We're Out in the Field. And today's question is, can bed bugs sustain in my personal automobile? And the short answer is yes. So when we're dealing with bed bugs, there's like three levels. You got a low level, a moderate level, and a severe level. And any, any three of those levels, you can transfer bed bugs to your automobile. But if you're in the middle to severe level, there's a pretty good chance that you have bed bugs in the automobile. So to get your home treated without investigating that automobile would be a big mistake because you'll pay to have the home treated and then you can transfer the, the problem from the automobile back into your home. Now, the thing about it is we've been dealing with bed bugs for close to 20 years. And in the beginning, we never really had a problem with the vehicles. But as time has went on, we've seen situations where the bed bugs are totally out of control. We were usually catching them pretty early in the beginning. You know, folks saw them. But now, you know, you got folks doing do it yourself. You got people keeping it a secret, but yet they're still visiting folks or, or getting into a shared vehicle and leaving a present behind that you really, really didn't want. But the good news is this, you can treat a car in a couple of hours with heat. Um, I don't really feel comfortable using any type of uh, aerosol materials in the car. We've been doing it with heat treatment. We've treated several cars with heat. And one of, one of the questions that kind of arise from that when we say we're gonna do a heat treatment on the car is, well, what about the electronics in the car? Well, the cars were designed to withstand um, those heat those heat levels. You don't want to get it too hot. You want to keep it around 135 degrees, and that's more than enough to kill the eggs, the nymphs, and the adults. Usually takes, if I didn't mention it before, it takes about two hours to do. You know, um, when you think of it, expand that out. Not only is it your personal automobile, but if you think about buses, semi-trucks, uh, these transport vehicles, that you know transport what kids around um, in car seats these are all areas where bed bugs can survive you know bed bugs will adapt that's another thing most folks think that they only bite at night but the truth of the matter is they will adapt to the environment if the only time they can feed is when you're in the vehicle driving from here to there they'll adapt to feeding because you have to think in our area the area that we live in a couple years ago before this pandemic came along, we had an outbreak in a theater. Now, those bed bugs are biting during the day because there was nobody there overnight. So you think about it, they had to adapt to the situation that they were in. So to make a long story short, if you feel like you might have a problem with bed bugs, if you've had several treatments and they can't seem to find that pocket of bed bugs in the house where they're coming from, remember, they might be coming from your car. You can give us a, a call. We'll be more than happy to investigate that for you. Uh, you can call our office, 414-355-3732. And you can ask for me. I'm Will White. I'll be more than happy to talk to you and get you on the right path. I want to thank you for either reading this or watching it. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Google Nexus Pest Solutions. Got bugs, you know what to do. Call 414-355-3732.